If you're a fan of doing burnouts on your motorcycle, then you're going to love doing them on a motor scooter. Burnouts are a great way to show off your skills and have some fun. In this video, we'll show you how to do a burnout on a motor scooter. Keep watching for the step by step guide. What is burnout and how do you do one on a motor scooter? Burnout is a way to show off your skills and impress your friends while also removing debris from tire treads and preparing for a race. The dangers of doing a burnout on a motor scooter. There are several dangers associated with doing a burnout on a motor scooter. Number one, you're destroying the tires. When it comes to burnouts, it's not if you're going to burn out the tires, it's when, during the process of doing a burnout on a motor scooter, you're causing lots of heat and friction to build up between the ground and your tire. If you apply too much power while performing the burnout, the treads will tear right off the tire. Number two, you're losing control of your motor scooter. Another big danger associated with burnout is that you're going to lose some control over the steering on your motor scooter. When you're doing a burnout, it's important to time your release of throttle and hit the brakes just as you come back up to speed. If you don't time it correctly, the tires will lose their tread and begin to spin. You'll be unable to steer or go in a straight line. This is extremely dangerous on a busy street. Number three, you might hurt yourself. Burnouts can be a lot of fun, but they're also dangerous. If you're going to do a burnout on a motor scooter, make sure that you know what you're doing and do it in an area where there is no traffic. That is because the dangers of burnouts are significant. You might hurt yourself or others by performing a burnout, so make sure you know what you're doing before performing a burnout on a motor scooter. And number four, you might hurt the motor scooter. When you do a burnout on a motor scooter, it's also possible that you might damage the motor scooter. There are some components on your motor scooter that just aren't built to handle the intense heat and friction of doing burnouts. If you keep performing burnouts, eventually some part is going to break off. So if you want to do burnouts on a motor scooter, make sure you know how to do it correctly and in an area where there is no traffic, how to safely do a burnout on a motor scooter. So now that we've covered the dangers of burnout on a motor scooter, let's cover how to do one. One, wear safety gear. Two, find a safe space. Three, prep your scooter. Wear safety gear. It is important that you wear safety gear when doing a burnout on a motor scooter. This is because it's going to be difficult to control the scooter and there's lots of potential for something to go wrong, so make sure you protect yourself as much as possible before performing this stunt. Find a safe space. As we mentioned above, it's important that you find a safe space to do your burnout. Make sure there is no traffic around and it's an area where the scooter won't break anything if you lose control of it. Prep your scooter. It's also important to prep your motor scooter before doing a burnout. That means checking the tire treads and ensuring the scooter doesn't have a flat tire. It's also a good idea to make sure it's in perfect working condition before performing burnouts on a motor scooter. Steps to do a burnout on a motor scooter. Now that you've done all the prep work, it's time to perform the burnout. Follow these steps to safely do a burnout on a motor scooter. Step 1. Put your right foot on the ground and press down slowly on the throttle to reverend up your engine. Step 2. Once your engine is revved up, Quickly take your right foot off the ground and apply both feet to the front brake at the same time. Step 3. Let go of the brakes when you feel like you're about to come in contact with the ground. This should be when your scooter is in neutral. Step 4. Hit the throttle for a second or two while still in neutral, not pressing down on any pedals, to get your wheels spinning. Then release all pressure on the throttle by gently pushing it forward. Step 5. Once your wheels are done spinning, get back into a neutral position by releasing both feet from the brake pedal. Take your right foot off of its brake pedal and apply it again, but this time hit the left side of the brake to turn your scooter in a counterclockwise direction. Step 6. When you feel like you've turned enough, take both feet off the brake pedal to get your wheels spinning again. Then release all pressure on the throttle, this time pushing it up instead of gently pushing it forward, to get back into a neutral position. Step 7. Keep repeating steps 5 and 6 until you're finished with the burnout. Remember that it's important that you don't apply too much gas at any point when doing burnout so that your tires aren't spinning out of control. Also, remember if something goes wrong, gently let go of the throttle and hit the brakes so that you can slow down before anything bad happens to avoid collisions or getting hurt. My final thoughts. If you want to learn how to do a burnout on a motor scooter, make sure you've done the necessary prep work and follow these steps. Make sure it's in a safe space and that no one will get hurt. Always protect yourself with safety gear and keep your eyes peeled for anything weird.